You can hear that sound, right? That's the sound of joy to a mother when she delivers. Hearing her baby cry lets her know that the child is alive. Imagine getting pregnant, carrying that pregnancy for 9 months with all the pains, headaches, fatigue and several other issues and on the day of delivery you gave birth to twins. It would be a thing of joy, right? But do you know that before the 19th century, in some ancient towns in Africa, that moment of joy can change to a lifetime of sorrow? Because twins were considered as a taboo in some communities. A bad omen that could bring devastation and evil to the society. And in those days, they were killed or abandoned in the bush. Natives feared that their father was an evil spirit and their mother had committed a great sin, which led to their abandonment or even death. I happen to be a woman that delivered twins. Wow. So I would have been dead for now. This story got me curious because my dad was born a twin. So I tried to imagine what would have been his fate if he was born in any of these communities in those times. He wouldn't be alive, right? This is the story of many people in Creek Town in Cross River State, Nigeria before the coming of missionaries in the 19th century. And it makes me appreciate the works of people like the late Reverend Hope Wardell and Mary Slessor, early missionaries that fought against the killing of twins in some parts of southern Nigeria. Leave not for Mary Slessor for the reformation in the abolishing of the killing of twins, I won't be here. Many other women won't be here. Many children won't be here. Today, I visit this ancient town with the Presbyterian Church to learn about the history of these missionaries and hear some inspiring stories of people like King Ayo Honesty II who made the abolition of killing twins possible. The passion for reformation, yeah. you understand, both educational and uh, religion. Like, this is the first church. First church? Yes. Uh, Queen Elizabeth sent Bible and key. Bible, to Bible this church. to this church. Yeah, that is where they established. The, this is where they established the first church. Come inside. Oh, wow. And I happen to be one of the people that is lucky, yeah. you know, to come in this generation that Mary Slazer had abolished the killing of the mo the twins and the mothers. I happen to be a woman that delivered twins. Wow. So, great. I'm so grateful for God bringing an identity, you know, yeah. that came to identify him, herself to abolish the killing of the mothers and their children that have twins. Wow. I would have been dead for now. But oh. glory be to God for Mary Slezo. Yeah. Now we are going to the Creek Town beach, uh, beach yeah. where we are going to board to go over to Creek Town to be, be part of this epoch event yeah. of celebrating the missionaries, the four missionaries that brought Christianity and they brought commerce in and civilization into Cross River. I am at Marina Beach with Mrs. Dolly here. Yeah, she's an amazing woman that's been helping me telling these stories. She's very passionate about tourism and history of the people of Cross River, right? Yes. And Nigeria. And Mrs. Dolly is the one that's going to be taking us around in this journey and telling us more about this history as we learned from her. Thank you so much, Ma. Thank you very much. <laughs> ah, bien! <laughs> Business friend. Business friend. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, HF, history friend. History friend. I, I think that's cool too. Oh, okay. Tourism friend. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh my God. We love tourism. <laughs> Yes, There's yes. a heartbeat of every nation. Exactly. If you identify yeah. what you've got, mm -hmm. you can use that to make things out of it. Yes. Tourism Very is the important. key. Yes. The buildings that they used to stay. As you can see, you can see the difference. Yes. The bell, come closer to read what is there. King of Honesty, 1845. Yes. Wow, that's very old. 1845. This is a symbol to show that King Ayo Honesty II in 1845. Hmm resided and came from here. What? The word, A your honesty, come about. Okay, A your honesty. Yes, because okay. he was honest 
in doing business with the white men. Okay. That's Ayo the first and Ayo the second. Yeah. Okay. They say you're the third, they you're the third. This is Ayo the second. Yeah. Okay. The honesty was because of his honesty. <laughs> celebrating my great-grandfather yes because the white men wouldn't have come if King A your honesty the second did not write a letter to them he wrote a letter to the white men he didn't know he didn't go to school he didn't know too much book but he wrote my friend mr. something can you send women to come and teach us book so that we know God proper that's it that's a letter that is in the Museum in Calabar, although we in Africa this way don't celebrate our histories. But I think I am one of those that was born into this family to come and sustain this history. And I am, yes, and I am the resident ambassador of the state of the African diaspora. Wow. I'm from here. I am the Iberedem, Ibo Kwesred. I'm a chief. I'm the queen in wow. King A. Johannes II's family. And I'm here representing my king, His Royal Highness, Etubum A. Your Highness the Second. I invite every tourist who wish mm -hmm. to come here, visit us. We will host them. We are prepared to host them. So you're welcome. Thank you so much. I'm walking in the cemetery of some of the missionaries that brought Christianity and education to Nigeria. This is Reverend Gold and the wife. This is their tomb. They came for the same missionary journey and they died here. This is uh, the residence that uh, Reverend Pope Master Sungwado lived when he came for his missionary work. Mm. And opposite is uh, some of the great men where they were buried. After seeing some graves of early missionaries and learning some things about the history of the abolition of killing twins, we had a short tour to see the house that King Ayo Honesty II lived in when he was ruler of this town. Hundreds, hundreds of old buildings here, man. Honesty. This is where your honesty lives? Yes. Wow. Wow. After the tour, we started rushing so we could leave the town together with members of the Presbyterian Church. This was one of the most interesting boat rides I have had in my life. The music, the people, and the beautiful scenery of the Niger Delta waters made it very exciting. When we arrived at the Marina Beach, we also visited the house where the missionary Mrs. Lesser, who fought against the killing of twins, lived in and also her graveyard. There, she got celebrated by the people for her sacrifice in the 19th century. This journey was indeed a wonderful experience. I learned a lot and got to meet some great people. Our history as people of the Niger Delta is very important and I hope that through this film, you've learned something new. Thank you so much for watching to the end. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share this stream with somebody. You can also support our Niger Delta Stories project by joining our channel membership through the link in the description below. Stay wonderful and God bless. <laughs>